Have you ever noticed how often jewelry is made of gold? Gold is one of the most widely used ornamental metals. This is because it is a highly malleable metal. It can take any shape. But did you know it was this property of gold which helped Ernest Rutherford to discover the nucleus of an atom? Yes, in the year 1911, Ernest Rutherford conducted a gold foil experiment to understand the structure of an atom. He placed a source of alpha particles inside a lead container. If you notice carefully, this container had a small slit to ensure that only a small amount of alpha particles came out and travelled in a straight line. Since an atom consists of lightweight subatomic particles arranged in a plum pudding structure as suggested by J.J. Thompson, Rutherford assumed that the heavy alpha particles will easily pierce through it, pushing the light particles away and hit the screen without any change in directions. The alpha particles were bombarded on a gold foil. He used gold as he needed an extremely thin foil, which he assumed would have only around 1000 atoms, which would be convenient for the experiment. Lastly, a fluorescent screen was used to detect the radiation as the alpha particles will strike on it. It was observed that even though the majority of the particles pass straight through the foil, some particles got deflected at a smaller angle from the straight path. Additionally, there were a few particles that actually deflected at a wider angle from the straight line path. Certain particles even bounced back towards the source of alpha particles. On the basis of these observations, Rutherford concluded that the plum pudding model was not correct. There may be something at the centre of the atom with the same charge as alpha particles causing the particles to deviate from its path. He called this positively charged mass at the centre of an atom as the nucleus. He also concluded that the electrons are present revolving around the nucleus like planets revolve around the sun. Isn't that interesting how a thin foil of gold helped Rutherford discover the core or nucleus of the atom? It is indeed precious.